Praise the Lord and welcome to Tuesday's TMCI Word of Encouragement. Praise God. Today we're going to talk about letting God use you. The Lord has always desired to use mankind. We see this in the book of Genesis. In Genesis, the first chapter, verse 26, we see God saying, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. This verse underscores our role in manifesting God's character on earth. The Bible tells us that God is a spirit, and he desires his character to be manifested through each of us. This is not just a desire, but a responsibility that we as his creation carry. It is our duty to reflect his character in our actions, thoughts, and words, so we will glorify him in all that we do and say. He desires that we be his image bearers on earth. Let God use you. We can see how God used Noah by instructing him to build the ark because he, God, was going to destroy the earth due to the wickedness of man. God used Noah to preserve life, amen? God instructed Abraham to leave his country and to go where he would show him so that he would become a great nation. In the book of Exodus, we read that God called Moses from the burning bush while he was caring for Jephro, that's his father-in-law's, his sheep. God tells Moses to return to Egypt and to tell Pharaoh to let my people go, to release them from the bondage of slavery. He tells Moses to bring my people, his people, God's people, the Israelites, out of Egypt so they can enter the promised land. As God used Moses, God desires to use you and me regardless of where we are. God's desire to use you is not dependent on your current status or situation. Remember, the first four men that God chose as his disciples were fishermen. <laughs> so we can see how the Lord even chose David to be the next king of Israel. David started out as a shepherd boy watching his father, Jesse's sheep. These examples shows us that God's call is not limited by our circumstances or occupation, but by our willingness to serve him. Because man looks on the outward appearance, God looks at the heart, glory to God. So I want to remind you of your potential. God wants to use you and me, and he has placed potential in us. Sometimes we think that God's work, the work that he has called us to is too big or too enormous, or we're not smart enough or cannot communicate as well as others. We allow comparisons to set in or we start making excuses due to fear. So fear not because the Lord has given you everything you need so he can use you. So my brothers and sisters, let God use you. Thank you for your time and God bless you.